Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number one for hotel management system in Django with Next.js. In this video, we are going to set up the front end and the back end environment. And uh, I have here created a, a videos milestone that in which video what we are going to do. So we have covered our, uh, uh, you know, video number zero, we can say in which uh, we have introduced the project and uh, we have discussed about that how uh, what we will do in the project this is uh, video number one actually this is two but we are going from zero so this is video number one so let's make it correct zero and one right okay so now in this video uh, we are going to set up the front end back end and uh, then I, I need to change all the videos number but i will change that so here are the list and i will share this uh, list uh, i think i should share after we create all the things because maybe we can change something okay so let's focus now for the setup so let's try to set up the project okay so here i have a uh, created a folder right and uh, let's open the terminal right so we are in this terminal so let's first set up the uh, next JS uh, app right so we will say npx create next app will say front end right so it will take few seconds to install the thing so no no tailwind no because we are going to use bootstrap app router yes no and then it will take few seconds and it will install the setup right it depends on your internet speed so i think my internet speed is good okay so now we will go to front end right and then we will run the uh, app in a development mode so npm run dev we will discuss about this mode uh, development build production everything when we deploy the project right that will be the last stage okay so here ready in this so we'll copy this and uh, if you go here and you will say uh, and one more thing one more thing uh, before running this command please ensure that we have a uh, you should have a latest version of node.js right so currently we are using this uh, this is a uh, next 14 so node.js version is 20 point something right so you should have installed the node.js latest version according to your operating system and then you can run the npx or npm command right all right so uh, our project our next yes is a setup this is really easy process right now let's close this and let's out from the front end clear the screen right and then let's set up the backend system let's set up the django right so uh, what we will do first of all we need to create the virtual environment and why we need to uh, create a virtual environment because it will isolate our project from the confliction of dependency right so uh, you need to download or you need to set up uh, you need to set up vnv package right so vnv package and you can follow the documentation so you need to set up that and after the setup you can run simple the simply command uh, py because i'm using windows so py or python make a uh, vnv env right so this is pack uh, this is our uh, package this is our environment name right so let's do that okay so package is uh, so if we go to the folder uh, if you go here if you go here then you can see env is created right and in this env uh, the python version all the libraries will uh, whatever we do we will install that after activity so how we can activate all right so it is saying something because running script is disabled and for more information we need to do something uh, i think let's see that why this is coming okay so uh what we need to do i will try to run again the 
script so it is saying env so i have set up something uh, related to the operating system i will share that uh, in the description it's a simple command that we need to uh, we need to tell the powershell it should uh, uh, work it, it should activate the script it should activate the environment right okay so after running this command after running this command uh, our active uh, our virtual environment is activated let's close this now we will install django first of all so pip install so python by default comes with the pip pip install django so it will install the latest version of django right and django by default comes with the uh, by default comes with the sqlite right but we need to install the but we will work on the postgres sql right okay so we installed django now let's create a project so django admin once installed django we can work with the django admin uh, thing right all right so after installing django uh, we can run the command django admin and with the django admin first of all we will start the project right so <clears throat> django admin start project then project name the project name will be backend right so this is the backend and in single project we can create multiple apps right so in this let's first create the uh, first create the website right uh, or we can say landing right so um not landing let's create yeah that's fine so cd backend it so let's create the app now we need to run the manage.py file because if you see in the folder uh we have this file manage.py so we are in the backend and this is the project level settings and this is the commands that we need to run right and uh, here manage.py start start app and the app name is let's say website or we can say landing not uh, let's say website right so this will be the front end website for the customer right py manage.py start app website okay so this is a website and here we have a lot of files that we will work when we create the uh, things okay so let's say py manage.py run server okay so it is saying migrations not applied okay so django by default comes with the uh, some migrations or you can say some tables that we need to migrate right so first of all before migrating before creating the table we need to create the database and before creating the database we have to decide which database engine we are going to use right so on the project level settings uh let's close this on the project level setting currently this is using by default sqlite right so here you can see so here so in the default uh, it is using sqlite 3 but we are going to use postgres sql correct so let's uh, modify this and let's see how we can uh, work with postgres sql in django okay okay so for database connection we need to uh, we need to ensure three things first of all uh, we need to ensure that uh, we have a, a postgres sql installed in your system right so postgres sql comes with the pg admin this is a uh, you can say the ui uh, interface for the database and here i have created a django hms uh, database here in the database you can see create and database and here created django hms the second thing we need to install the we need to install this package right so in the official documentation it is saying uh, psychop g2 is depreciated we need to install this one so what i will do copy this 
right and uh, paste here okay and then after that i will run the server when you run the server it is saying uh, migration unapplied migration it means jago comes with the default uh, some tables we need to migrate so let's set up the database so first of all post gray sql and then the database name the database name is django hms sorry hms and then the username is root uh, sorry username is this is the username of the database so in the pg admin this is postgres default and then uh, password password is um, password is root and then we have to define the host host is our local host then we have to define the port port is by default 5432 right and let's open this one and then we run the server so it is saying connection to server fatal error password authentication failed for user suraj okay so i think the name is different so let's properties uh security journal user is postgres why this is not seeing this uh postgres username postgres database name password is correct it's kind of root let's see again now password authentication failed for the local host uh, what is the server name let's check the documentation here uh, name username db name host so this is the name engine is this db name is this username is postgres password is root host is local host and oh sorry this should be port sorry all right so now if i rerun the server so still it is saying this is saying the username is suraj let's copy this and paste it here and let's try and check now okay okay so we were doing one thing wrong actually here it should be not username but user right where is that okay uh, let's open again settings okay okay so we have unapplied migration let's apply the migration py manage dot py migrate okay now run the server again let's go to the database and uh, if we refresh this refresh go to the schemas and the tables so here you can see all this table comes with Django right and if you go to the browser and uh, if you go here here and we'll say localhost oh sorry 127 so you can see here Django is working okay so now uh, our setup is working but uh, back this is we will use for this backend we will use this for front end and now we will connect this via the rest framework so when we after when after creating the layouts uh, what we will do we will try to connect with the uh, django right here we will create the models and all the things so we'll connect with the django with the rest framework uh, we'll use rest framework for the apis so at that time we will see that how we can set up the api right so we'll start the uh, start creating the layout from the next video right so the first uh, layout is our uh, home page so we'll try uh, we'll set up our home page we'll create our home page and then on the road we will do other things right so i hope you understand that how we can set up the things right the backend setup will 
uh, you know we will utilize the backend setup after creating the layouts right but uh, yes you have a setup ready and we can use that but after creating the layout right so i think we are done with this video so i hope you understood all the things if you have any query anything then please uh, write in the comment section and uh, please check the uh, github link for the uh, latest updates okay so where is the hotel management system i will add here so you can check that and uh, i will add the description so you can see how things are how things will work and one more important thing please uh, if you like this video then please write in uh, uh, write uh, in the comment awesome so that i will you know appreciate that so thank you so much for watching the video and if you have any query any comment then please write and please subscribe this channel like this channel share this video like this video right so thank you so much and let's meet in the next video stay tuned with the core artisan lab thank you